Tony, hours away now. How are you feeling? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. You just come off a, a great win against Stanley Wilson, a fight that you were kind of the underdog for. How how is the uh, how do you reflect on that fight? How is that, and how has the kind of recovery been? I'm always an underdog in every fight I take. I like being the underdog. There's no pressure, is there? There was more pressure on Stanley that night. But like I said to everyone, speed kills. Yeah. And it was kind of that fight really was kind of like a make or break fight for you in that. You know, you're getting to the latter stages of your career now. You got the win. Has that kind of spurred you on, kind of told you that you've got more to give? Yeah, definitely. I want a title shot. Like Stanley was promised, he was a title shot. So I've just got to take it the minute everyone that Jim throws in front of me, we get through them, not look past this fight and move forward. Is that the ultimate end goal then, the getting that title? Yeah, 100%. I mean, win or, win or lose. If I can say I've competed for a BKB title, I've done everything then, haven't I? Yeah. Is that kind of like, that's the point where you would think, I've done it all, kind of. You've, you, you know, that's a nice end, isn't it, to, to get that title? Yeah, most definitely. I like a nice belt. I'm going to I'm going to start doing a gym soon, so I want a nice new shiny belt to put on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about your opponent, Craig Griffiths. He's kind of this is his debut, but you know he's uh, he's experienced a bare knuckle. He's fought unlicensed as well. What are you expecting from him? So it's a bit hard to tell with the kind of debutants, isn't it? I've seen a little bit about him. Um, He's Just a note powerful. to all fighters and everybody present. And as soon as we're both big guys, and we? we're both big guys, we're both big hitters. Exactly Please like I say in every every fight I have here. Big fights, big punches. It only takes one punch to change something. So I think it's who, who lands first. Yeah. Don't go you know, anywhere. being it being a heavyweight bout as well, there's a kind of that element of uncertainty. So you've experienced that throughout your whole career, but you know, as a, from a fan perspective, there's always like. Anything could happen in a heavyweight fight, right? Oh, definitely. I think the heavyweight fights are more exciting. There's more guaranteed a knockout, and you're a stoppage in heavyweight fights. Big bangers, big hitters. I think one thing last time that we uh, were really impressed by us from fans was like, just your speed and um, movement around, around the ring. Are we going to see more of that tonight? What, what have you built upon? You know, how what can we expect to see from you tonight? Like I said, in every fight I fight, I'm better. That's all I'm letting on. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Watch, tune in. If anyone's out there, tune in, watch, and you'll see. So try not to give too much away then. <laughs> to be fair, this fight, like I said, I've seen a couple of clips, but he's changed. He's trained. I've just seen him now. He's lost a bit of weight. So I can't really say what he's done, what he's going to come with. But I take each fight as it comes. I'll let him set the pace, and then we'll see who's who. Hopefully you get past this get that title shot is that kind of what you're wanting is that the next fight you want after oh definitely definitely i mean i've got a i've got a big support now i've got a support in bali from uh, rob fisher and uh, felix andrews they're out in bali they support the 66 orphans that's what that there is on my t-shirt they take orphan kids abandoned children off the street and give them a life you know and they're all tuning in now they're watching this now as we speak you know so i've definitely got enough to spur me on so it's kind of like an extra incentive to, to win for, for them as well, for, um, or just to send a message as well to say that, you know, you still got it. I suppose you kind of proved that last time, but George to the back of the room. there's a the kind of sense George that, to the back of especially the room, before the Stanley fight, like, you know, you're past it and like, I'm not, you know, there's a kind of like, with your age, but you proved last time that you're not, you still got it. I suppose this fight, there's less to prove, but also you want to get that title shot. Yeah, I mean, I think Hugh Hefner proved age is just a number, didn't he? You know, <laughs> you know. So I'm I'm 39. I wouldn't say I'm past it. The last thing to go on any fighter is his punch. Look at George Foreman. You know, Bernard Hopkins. They're the, they're the um, oldest heavyweights in history, aren't they? So I've still got the hand speed. I've definitely got the power. I've still got the ring craft. So boxing's in my blood. First, what's different this time around is that you're kind of the favourite in a sense because we haven't seen much of, uh, of Craig but we've seen a lot of you and people are backing you now it seems like you've got that support now that you perhaps didn't have last time how does that feel? Yeah it's nice it's nice to have a fan base it's nice to come somewhere to a show I mean I've boxed on all unlicensed shows it's nice to come come somewhere and actually have a reckon, be recognised you know yeah. I was in the hotel I've come up and I was uh, with uh, the Baron this morning you know and he, he knew who I was it's nice I mean he's fighting he's main event tonight sitting there having a chat with him knowing who you are it is nice it is it's definitely the best platform in, in well best platform i've been on to be fair yeah so 
about the fight, you know, is that what's the kind of process like from now to the fight? Do you kind of visualize it or are you kind of quite easygoing? What's your attitude like? I'm just me. Everyone says about why don't you talk about you're going to knock him out, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. That's not me. I'm dad. I'm dad and husband, you know? So that, that's my motivation. I've got my wife here, my little girl. My son's going to walk me to the ring if he don't get too nervous. You know, my missus, my wife, she's even talking about doing my corner if my other mate don't turn up. So they're my inspiration, man. They're my motivation as well. well Tony, best of luck. Can't wait to watch you fight. Thank you. Thank you very much.